Yep, definitely cannot be understated. I know this is Let's Rage Clues and we're talking about the Houston basketball team, but I think it would not, we cannot mention it, obviously, the cross team promotion that was today and just how big of a part that the new head coach Willie Fritz was. Uh, we're going to ignore the first part of Rusty Reed's comment about Disney Plus and ESPN Plus, but he said he was glad the Cougars, the men's basketball team, got a win. And he mentioned how he liked how Coach Willie says the football team is going to be just as tough as the basketball players. He says about time and uh, talking about that new head coach in Willie Fritz. He was interviewed at halftime during the ESPN Plus broadcast talked about mentioned that point he's um a fan of kelvin samson what he's been able to establish it a, with the men's basketball program and it's interesting he said it's proof that it can be done in football because it's that same level of success has already been achieved when it comes to the men's basketball team and then he also went into the detail he's met with the players he's met with a lot of staff around the building and he's already done some recruiting trips locally across Houston area high schools. So Willie Fritz, barely four days on the job, and he's already um, really three games, if three days. Since he got here late Sunday evening. So he's already making his imprint all over the Houston Cougars program. And quite frankly, there's a completely different tone and attitude around Houston football from this time a week ago. And I, Coach Fritz, from where we sit, media sits, he was sitting four or five rows, rows in front of us talking to a recruit. <laughs> okay, so, Mid-game. you know, so, and some of the players were around as well, so the current players. I know I saw Pat Paul as well, but Coach Fritz is on it. You know, the fans, he he did not mind taking pictures with some of the fans, you know, little quick posing for pictures for some with some of the fans because he's popular right now. He's the most popular person on campus. You know, <laughs> game was going on tonight. When he walked up the steps, he, he and his wife, the folks in the in the uh, fans in the section stood up, gave him a, <laughs> a round of applause as he walked up to the steps here. And he knows who to talk to and regarding who are the players in the area he needs to look at. I saw that firsthand from somebody that I know who's very connected with high school sports. <laughs> Yeah, in his interview, he talked about his time being a high school, uh, Texas high school football coach and having the pride of doing so and reconnecting with a lot of high school coaches that he knows and he re- rekindling some of those relationships. And so I mean, he's definitely sound like he's hit the ground running. And um, uh, it was really, yeah, I really like all of the sound bikes I've heard so far from him. And it's, it's really a lot that we could talk about in regards to what all has transpired since his hiring. But the main thing is it looks like he's doing a good job of retaining a lot of players. It seems like they're bought in and was embracing him and coming in from all that I've heard. We haven't seen really many players in the transfer port. And so he's talking about recruiting Houston in the state of Texas hard and how successful he's been in his previous coaching stops when he's had high volume of Texas players. And Texas players, Texas got the best high school football, so the talent is there. And I think he, he knows what it does. He knows what to do to um, – build a program and so nothing but positive things so far is looking up for Houston football <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what you know what's y'all's take on it because he, he said the comment about getting the football team to play as tough as the basketball team coach Sam's the basketball team we heard him say that I think he the clip Houston Athletic posted Saturday and then he said of course Monday at the press conference and he mentioned it to then, tonight as well what is that when you first heard it what did you think? Because obviously he's, he's giving credit to Coach Sampson, but as followers of Houston Athletics, did you take it, any part of you take it as a slight to the previous person who's no longer here? Uh, from Coming from Willie Fritz, I personally did not take it that way. I so not anymore. from him, but when you heard the him admin. say it, from, from what you know as following the Houston Cougars football team, and fans who are watching us right now, did y'all, when y'all heard Coach Fritz say it, your initial gut reaction, what does it say about Dana Hoekson? <laughs> I mean, that, that, is that, did you think that at all? I personally didn't. Damn, Chris, did you hear your thoughts on it? 
Nah, I, I'm with you, Andy. I didn't at all. I think it, it was really, like you said, Chris, big enough Coach Simpson, and at the same time realizing the discipline and what it takes to play that hard, how they play every game and game in, game out, and want to kind of instill that discipline and that toughness within his football team. I didn't even think. Because um, the majority of, yeah. of, of my friends thought like that, like, like us. But there were a couple like, and what's the same about the other <laughs> the coach? You know, mm-hmm. I was like, well, you know, I took it like a prop to Coach Sampson. That's what yeah. I took it. So I will yeah. say this: um, the introduction press conference. Whenever um, the admin, and specifically when it talks to President Renu Couture, <laughs> mentioned the uh, the traits that they looked at Willie Fritz. I think there was definitely some undertone shots at the previous administration in that uh, news conference coming from the upper admin, which I could most definitely see um, from that viewpoint. But when it comes to Willie Fritz and specifically shouting out Coach Sampson, I think it's much more. He's just the, the honestly, the respect that he has for what Coach Sampson has been able to establish. I What I did want to point out, again, going back to that ESPN Plus uh, interview that he had during halftime of the men's basketball game, when he met with the players, he said that he discussed his philosophy and what basically his plan is going to be, which that is, again, not to, to harp too much on the previous regime, but I, that's night and day difference. Uh, the messaging that had been coming for the past five years, I, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I had ever heard that under the course of the past five years in terms of here's my vision, here's what we're going to do, here's what I envision to do. Now, who's willing to buy into that vision? I don't think that that's the change that stuck out to me when when he spoke again during the halftime interview. But another thing that um, not only that, but it kind of coincides with what he said before about his philosophy is he's not a head coach that's tied to a system. Mm -hmm. The previous head coach was tied to a system in regards to he I have this philosophy. I want to run this system. And uh, And Willie Fritz said, I'm not the coach is tied to that. I just I'm a football coach. I just whatever system that I'm going to implement on the players uh, that I have to their strengths. And so I think that's another thing with talking to the team and selling that with them. Like I'm not coming in here with a, a system. You guys are going to run my system. No, I'm going to come in and see what we got, and we're going to implement the best system for the team. And I think that's one of the credits that um, to him as well. I heard a lot of things that we talked about from special teams to defense and, and meet the team where they. And the greatest coaches um, adjust. They they don't just come in with a system. We're going to run this and, and do that. And so uh, everything I've heard from him, I really, really love. And I think uh, if he does what he says, which I'm sure he will, and it's it's hard to win. Winners win. I've been winning all my life, not even just to toot my own horn. But, yeah. like, and for him to win at each stop, I, he's a winner. And I know what it takes I've been around other people. I know you guys know people who are winners and people mm-hmm. who are not winners. And mm-hmm. so it's hard to really explain, but he, he it seems like he he got he has that it factor to be a winner. And the thing about him, and clearly this is a honeymoon period for him, but a key difference Big between time. him him and the previous person who's no longer here, thank goodness. He who will not be named. <laughs> is is messaging. <clears throat> yeah. The messaging. Coach Fritz knows how to communicate with the players, the administration, with the fans. You know, it's, it's be, all of it. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah that's a it's, great it's point. Different times, you have to talk to different folks differently. The the person who will not be named seemed to be the same way wherever he was, and that rubbed a lot of folks the wrong way. More and more, you just hear the same stuff over and over again. The same, same, you know. Y'all, we all heard it. What you know wasn't my fault. It wasn't you know blah, blah blah all that kind of stuff. But Coach Fritz knows how to communicate, get his point across, make people feel part of the program. And that's a big plus as well. <laughs> so I think better days and brighter days are ahead for Houston Cougar football. Jeremy R. Agrees. He says data or, or he who will not be named. He named them. They didn't know how to work the beast. Coach Fritz knows this is a powerhouse sleeping in a day on to your point about messaging. I think that's been the biggest home run over the course of the first three days under the Fritz era. And honestly, it's it's interesting to see how that continues to build because I personally 
hearing him speak and the messaging that has come across just in the first three days, I envision it being a completely different beast when it comes to how they're going to be able to build support for the program, specifically when it comes to current students and supporters like rally around this program, which has been something that wasn't a strength over the course of the past five years. And hopefully that is the ground floor. Like they have to set the ground floor for support. And that's something that wasn't the case under the previous administration, in my opinion. Agreed. And it, it is, I'm, I'm looking forward to football again. <laughs> okay. I, that was not the case the previous five years. Yeah, I agree with both of you guys. And another thing, like I think I may have mentioned this before, that um, not only is he restoring the hope, but it's a sense of pride with Coach Fritz because it's similar with Houston. Houston wants to prove that it can be um, dominant and consistent championship level in football at the P5 level over the other programs. And Coach Fritz wants to prove that he could be a head coach at the P5 level. So it's kind of like a match made in heaven. And he he's embracing that mentality of within himself and with the program that we can do it. You see with the basketball team and with the right coach and leadership like him, like himself, like he, um, we think he can be. And I, I think it, it, it's just perfect. I, I think it's a really can be a storybook in <laughs> if it all goes well. Yes, because only time as, as we time. all know, he's won at every level, but he said in the press conference he had wanted to coach on at a, P5. At, at, at a power program and win at a power program. That's the last feather in his cap, and that's yeah. what he wants to do. So he has an extra, what did President Couture yeah. say, that fire in the belly. He's got the fire yeah. in the belly to win at this level and keep it moving. And set himself in, in, in the – upper echelon of coaches to be mentioned in, in, among the greats. And because I, truly, I, I think I said it. <laughs> if he wins here and if he turns the Houston Cougar football program into national relevance, by the time he retires, the Houston alums will would want to build a statue of him. If he returns Houston Cougar football to national relevance and if you can count out it's like men's basketball. Year in, year out, people expect Kelvin Sampson basketball team to be ranked top 10. If Coach Fritz does that for football, year in, year out, preseason poll, Cougars ranked top five, top 10 every year. UH fans will be thrilled to death, overcome with joy. <laughs> yeah. And especially a fan like myself. You, you see it's possible. You see it. And and once it's done, I, just like you said, Chris, I, if he's able to sustain it, man, he will have a statue. Especially, just look at the landscape of college football, though. 12-team football playoff coming next year. And so more playoff spots. Big 12 is changing. Look like it's opening up with, mm -hmm. a, with a chance for one of these schools to stake its claim as the, the new top dog in the Big 12. And so, uh, I mean, it's there. All the resources in the state of Texas. He knows Texas. He used to hit it out of the park, man. Now it's just state of course. And let's get it done. Yep. A matter of executing. Rusty, said, Rusty Reed says, I would say that if Fritz wins a Big 12 championship, he might have a shot at the Hall of Fame. So we shall see that fire in his buddy. That's a great um, phrase to, to remark what um, – Hopefully Fritz's mindset is and what he has an opportunity to be able to establish here with Houston. Now it's a matter of executing now.